All right, so I've got two movies to review. I'm gonna do them now, upload them before Wednesday, which is when I leave for San Diego. If you follow me on Tumblr, I'll be posting shit all about San Diego. I might have a giveaway after. Uh, just so you guys know, you DVD collectors, Blu-ray fans, no, oh, that was loud, uh, that Fox is doing a series of nine exclusive Blu-rays. Now, I think these movies are already on Blu-ray, but it's the covers that are exclusive to Comic-Con themselves. Look up foxconnect.com or IGN. They helped. They have a cult classic series, which is Boondock Saints, Donnie Darko, and Fight Club. I'm definitely picking up the Boondock Saints one, even though I already own it, because that cover is sick. I kind of want Donnie Darko, but I don't know. They have a horror collection, which is Silence of the Lambs, uh, Child's Play, and Carrie. And they also have a sci-fi cult classic, which is The Day the Earth Stood Still, The Original Fly, and uh, I forgot the third one, because I don't care that much. Planet of the Apes, the original Planet of the Apes. They're pretty fucking awesome. They're only $20. You don't have to be attending the show to buy them. You can get them from the website during Comic-Con only, so from this upcoming Thursday through Sunday. Um, they're $20 a piece, like I said. I'm going to buy probably Silence of the Lambs and uh, Boondock Saints. Maybe Donnie Darko. I don't know yet. So there's that news for you for all these hardcore update things. They're really exclusive. They're really minimalist boxes. They're really cool. I love them. I can't wait to get my hands on them. So, that out of the way, this is a review for Disney's The Lone Ranger. I saw this last weekend. Someone paid for me to go. Thank Christ. Um, I don't know much at all about The Lone Ranger. I don't know anything about the radio show. I don't know. Was it a TV show? Past movies? I have no fucking clue. This movie just looked pretty cool. That's all I knew going into it. Um, let's start. The Lone Ranger is about this kid. I forgot his name already. Um, fuck, what is his name? Whatever. Uh, he comes back to town. He's a lawyer at law school. He's a bumbling idiot. Whatever. His brother's a sheriff. He's, uh, I can't remember the actor's name, but he's been in a lot of movies this year. He was in World War Z and Iron Man 3, at least. Those two, he's been in more. He's coming up in more. He's pretty good so far. Um, Butch Cavendish came in on a train. They were supposed to arrest him. He escaped. Uh, long story short, <clears throat> all the sheriffs in this town got killed by Butch Cavendish, and, uh, this guy's brother got shot, but he came back. Tonto, played by Johnny Depp, brings him, helps bring him back from the afterlife, whatever. He becomes the Lone Ranger, and they start hunting this guy and finding out all the mishaps and wrapped up bullshit going on in the West right now. It deals heavily, it's 19, 1869, it deals heavily with the railroad. And that's a big historical plot point for it. That's about it. Um, this movie's bombed, for all of you who keep up on that shit. Uh, it bombed terribly for Disney. Um, which is a shock. But not really, because I went to go see it. I was expecting quite a bit. It looked decent. Helena Bonham Carter was in it. She was advertised as being one of the lead characters, or at least a big side character. She's in it for a total of five minutes. Five minutes, the entire movie. And... Her character was fucking fascinating. She had a fake leg that had a shotgun in it. Uh, they did not expand at all on her character or any backstory. It was just, she's there for convenience, and then she's gone again, and there's nothing else. Uh, the movie primarily deals with the relationship between the Lone Ranger and Tonto, and it it's interesting. It's not that great. <laughs> Uh, the acting was okay, but for the most part, the storyline, it was a two and a half hour long movie that should have had half an hour just scrapped because a lot of it was boring as fuck. I was bored. I almost fell asleep, and the only reason I woke up was because there was random firing of guns, and I kept my interest. The horse might have been my favorite character. Um, it was basically Pirates of the Caribbean and the Wild West, and it didn't work. Johnny Depp played Jack Sparrow, but as Tonto, and it didn't work, although his facial expressions amused me greatly. Um, it was good to see Jack Sparrow again, or at least a hint of him. But this whole movie just was a clusterfuck, guys. Don't, I, rent it, rent it. I'm not a big fan of westerns, This, but this was Disney, and it looked good, and the trailer was pretty awesome, and you're like, oh, this is gonna be good. It's too long, the story is boring, and it didn't go anywhere, really. I didn't care about any of the characters. Um... The acting was decent. I think that was, might have been the best part. Some of the, the last 20-minute action scene was pretty epic. That's the best part of the movie, which is a shame, because this could have been really awesome. I don't think they're making a sequel, even though the actors are signed on for it, and Disney has a buttload of money. I don't think they're going to make it because of how badly it flopped and did. So, yeah, Lone Ranger is not that great. It was okay. 
I don't know, I'd give it like a 5 out of 10 or a 2 and a half out of 5. It's okay. It's not my cup of tea. It was slow and plodding. It, it's not that great. That's just my humble opinion on that. So, uh, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe if you want to. Um, follow me on Tumblr. I'll post the link down there for Comic-Con pictures and jealousy and rage. And uh, thanks for watching.